this year's chicken coop build actually started last year at the sawmill. I bought 73 acres in northern Idaho and I am milling trees off the property to build my homestead, learning as I go. I am Heather and this is Cause We Can Farms. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnapped me. Okay, guys, so it was raining and snowing at our house. Chloe, do you want to herd buffalo? Do you want to go herd the buffalo? <laughs> he do? He's so brave. He's so brave. <laughs> what about you, Justin? You want to herd the buffalo? Oh, no, he failed. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Are those your babies? Are you gonna headbutt me? Take me back, all the way back to them days. Running around in a gown and a crown, barefoot. He's really embarrassed. He doesn't want to go anywhere now. It's like we put a bowl on his head and hold on the rest. Of it. <laughs> his friends are like, dude. It's time for the yearbook photo now. <laughs> no, none of the girlfriends are gonna. <laughs> Look at him all sniffing. Like yeah. Who are, Who are you? you? <laughs> Come by. No, no. Come by, Chloe. Come by. Walk up, there, walk up, lie down, lie down, good girl, oh you're a good girl, oh you go, you get the sheep, oh my goodness, you get the sheep. You guys, it's real, they weren't kidding. Let me show you. I just want you to know that I am a fair weather farmer. And when they said Friday was fake spring, they weren't kidding. This is Monday. I'm not even getting out of my pajamas. Literally, I'm going back inside. There will be no chicken coop building today. Oh, yes. 
so much better today. Oh, I can work in this. Still snow on the trailer, but that's all right. We'll get that figured out. So what I'm needing to do today, because first off, I want to apologize for the generator. I'm charging the batteries to my DeWalt. Okay. So because I don't have to go to the lumber store to buy lumber, because I have a sawmill, <laughs> But there is some things that I have to do to that lumber to get it ready to build with. Take you over to where I have it. Now, today is our only day this week. It is actually going to be nice weather. That's a bummer. Because we're supposed to get quite a bit of rain Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I think is what they said last. Woo! And all my tarps blew off. Okay, so I have a bunch of six by sixes, some four by fours, uh, I think some eight by eights over there. Full stock over there of two by sixes and one by material. I'm going to be using the four by fours um, for my corner posts on uh, the chicken tractor, the mini chicken barn. <laughs> so I've got to get these off of here, moved over there, and some of my other lumber moved over there. And I just found out that I have a chiropractor's appointment this afternoon, so that's going to cut into my day. So I'm not going to get as much done today as I wanted to, but all next week is gorgeous. So I should absolutely make up time then. But for now, I just got to get all this lumber moved over there so that I can get to working with it. And I'm not going to bore you with that process. We'll just come back whenever I've got it all over there. Okay, you guys, I've hauled these two super long four by fours and these are true two by fours when I cut them over here and I want to show you um, how rough cut this is this has dried uh, all winter and yeah all winter and uh, I know that this is just a chicken coop but I want it to be very pretty. There's a lot of things that I'm going to be doing that are probably over the top, but it's because I'm learning and I'm wanting to learn specific things to help me with future builds of other buildings that I'm going to be putting on this property. So this is a small scale um, building that I can learn quite a bit off of. So whew, that's why I'll be doing a little bit of extra on some things. Um, I need to measure these posts out and see uh, if I have, if I need to go grab another one. Um, oh, I didn't get this ice off. Okay, this is a little over 16 feet. And this one's a little under 13 feet. So, I'm really trying to decide how tall I want these sides. I want to be able to walk into this coop. Um, I've had coops that I've had to bend down to get into, and I do not want that. I want to be able to stand up in it. I am five foot nine. My son is five foot 11. I do know that I'm going to do an 8 to 12 pitch. This is six foot wide. So I think that gives us, so three foot to the middle 
Every foot it rises eight inches. I, I actually don't know how to do this. Sounds good though, doesn't it? Hey, if you know the math on this, how to figure this out with using math, if you could comment below and let me know, that would be wonderful. I'm I also think... going to learn how to do a scissor truss. Um, I was researching trusses yesterday, so even though it was a really bad day, I was still working. <laughs> and I fell in love with the scissor trusses. I really like those, so I'd like to learn how to do those. That's one that I'm... Fireflies and winters on our skates. One big smile across my face. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace. They dream. So I measured these at six foot two inches so that I can square off each one of the ends. These are very rough cut and they just have the ends that the tree had. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna do six foot sides. Uh, that's what I'm gonna cut these at. I'm cutting them at uh, six feet, two inches. I'm gonna go ahead and measure all of these out because I have my batteries charging, which is why you hear the generator. Uh, so let me go ahead and finish getting these measured out and then hopefully we'll have enough power to get them cut. As you can see, this is a one foot difference and there's a two inch overhang. So I'm wanting to cut that out of this timber so that this part goes over that part and then my siding will not sit on here. My siding will sit out here. So I'm gonna be cutting out this particular section, um, squaring up the timber. This is the part that stays. This is the part that goes. And I'm gonna double check all my measurements and make sure that that is right before I cut. Okay, you guys, 
just got out of the chiropractor. That was a super long visit and we found all kinds of things wrong with my back. So I'm going to call it on this video and next week we're supposed to have absolutely beautiful weather almost all week it looks like. So I should be able to get all of the framework done. So make sure you come back to watch that and hit subscribe, like, comment below, especially if you have any suggestions and I will see you in the next one. Sure, it's right in front of us if we just